So hi, we are uh, this month exploring the region of Bretagne, as you know, and uh, we're very happy because today our good friends from French in the Kitchen are welcoming us in their home. I'm very proud to have uh, you uh, in our kitchen today. Uh, as uh, Judith said, we are two French women, Françoise and I. Uh, I came in the US in 2007. Uh, with my kids and husband, and uh, I discovered I could not find what I want to eat. Uh, with my friends Françoise, we have the same passion for nice food and uh, French food, and we decided to create French Eater Kitchen because we want to share our knowledge to, each, to others and also our passion to cook. We eat crabs in France, especially for the chandeleur, so it's on February 2nd every year. Um, chandeleur, the word is coming from the French word candle, so chandelle in French. Um, in February, this is a return of the, the sun, the days are growing, and we celebrate the return of the sun. So the shape of the crepe is similar to the sun. So, shall we start? <laughs> One cup of flour, okay. two cups of water, one egg, a pinch of salt, okay. and that's it. Super simple. Then you add the water, and then I add the water, so two cups of this. Okay. okay. And break the egg. That's it, full egg. And now you see it's taking over. And you need to beat it. <laughs> okay, so we are ready now for uh, the buckwheat crack. So what do you need? You need, of course, the bala, the crack maker, a little bit of oil. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a try. So I use the little paper towel. The um, machine, the crack machine is already very hot. I can feel it. I'm gonna burn myself, I'm sure. No, no, no. Don't worry. Is that enough? Yes, oh. that's enough. Okay. Just pour in the middle. Okay. And quickly. Oh, God. Oh. I'm yeah, afraid I'm not quick no. enough. No, no, you're doing great. Ah, je dis ça. Am I? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. that. Et voilà. Et voilà. <laughs> So you can take the regular flour, for sure you, we use a pinch of salt. And you just mix it. You can use plain milk or reduce fat, whatever you like. And I will add two cups of milk. So take your time, don't add the milk at the same time, but gradually. Yes, this is a secret of the nice batter. We have a special pan, a crepe pan. It's a very thin one, as you can see. So the same, you wait until the borders are a little bit brown. Mm -hmm. And then you will be able to flip it. Mm -hmm. You can flip the crepe with the pan in one hand and the coin, the gold coin, in the other one. And if you flip it well, you have prosperity for the rest of the year. So with this one, it's half of it or yes, like that? Yep. It's not going to be too thick and we'll see how I do. Because this one is just... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I've never Good. used your pan, but maybe otherwise. Okay, I'm going to flip this one like that. And then once it's done, then... So I put it in my hand. And then now, Ta -da -da! Ta -da! Yeah! <laughs> and then you flip it again, yeah. if you want. <laughs> and you can add whatever you like. Jam. You fold it. You fold it. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Center. One egg. For the test, put a bit of salt, just spread apart oh, the, white. the white part of the egg because otherwise it's too long to cook. Whatever you like, a big piece or a small one. 
and the cheese. You spread the cheese. Okay, and then once it's done, you just work like this. All right, like this. Nice. It's a bit cold, so I use. It. 